Next module is PA volume. It's a, a custom script, meaning it's going to use the scripts in here, PA volume SH. And we found a script online, and this is a way to change your volume and things like that. So volume down, function volume down, function volume sync, and so on. Volume mute, all these functions have been created for us to control the music. That's all it's intended to do. So, all right, PA volume, let's go up, 120. We've done this one, PA, was it with a dash? We'll see soon enough. Oh, no, no, I know it. Wait a moment. PA. Okay, without dash. Save. So indeed, we get something up here. And if we scroll over it, we can make it louder and softer. And when we click on it, the sound is gone. So this is simil something similar than the icon we have here with the volume icon. So a little bit uh, shows, looks a bit different scrolling over it or clicking on it it's um whatever you want but it's it's something else it's another uh, volume control system and again you can change all the paddings and all that uh, oh, 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 oh we're, we're look, not looking at the right thing here so this one so the colors are coming from all the way up if you scroll down this script is going to run with the addition of what it needs to do, down and scroll up is up, click left is stop mute, right is execute puffer control, we have not seen that one. So right mouse click will execute this one. This might be interesting, but again, if you know the shortcuts in i3, control alt u and you have it. So, okay, it's there anyway. So right mouse click and it's easily, um, well, easy to summon it. And the rest is um, all good. I mean, it's just a script that really is actually working here. Uh, we're not going into this script, first of all, because I haven't made it. So I really should have a look at it. Um, but um, everything seems to work just fine. So we're happy to have it. Enjoy.